and welcome along and welcome back to Meadow Grove. Today we are heading, ooh, we're heading up to the shop in the Axion uh, 840 here uh, because as I mentioned last time I was going to look for a set of mowers. Uh, something that we could use on this without having to up the power on it um, and that would be matching and would look great. Uh, and I found something, we have a set of mowers so we're going to go and buy those now so we can get started on the grass work. Uh, up on fields uh, 18 and 17 of the two we're going to go and do today so let's leave that there and pop over to the shop it's actually an agco and massey shop i don't think we actually have oh the fent is the is the only agco uh piece of kit we have on here so mowers wise we have these uh the crone easy cut f and the easy cut r400 so it's a side mower and a front mower uh the easy cut f uh is 50 horsepower uh the r400 is 80 so it's a uh, 130 horsepower requirement so we could actually put these on our that's interesting i wonder what the difference between that and that is i think it may be the type of cut uh we'll get it with the extra bit i think uh and it's basically, uh, basically means that we could use these on either tractor, which is really good. Again, uh, that's with different logos. Okay, uh, so we'll buy that as well. It's in German. I do quite, I, I prefer it if we had translations on everything, but uh, we don't at the moment. So there we go. So that is our easy cut F. Safe cut inside. That is brilliant. Uh, and this is, uh, this is the rear one. And uh, we look quite good on the on our, our class. Unfortunately, I couldn't find any uh, class mowers. Uh, but I think it's good to have a bit of variety. Certainly, I did a... Uh, I did a vote. I did a poll as to whether we should all go with one type of... Uh, one brand as uh, across as many items on the farm as possible. Or whether we should try and... Uh, whether we should mix it up. And it was very, very much in favour of mixing it up. I think... Certainly, this back one just looks like a re work of the crone uh, sorry not the crone of the coon uh, which is interesting but this is quite a long setup uh, as I said this will work on here or on our uh, or on our case I keep forgetting because this is a new series it's getting my head around what tractors I have and, and what things we've got but it's uh, it's a good set up on here and, a, and a, something that will come to me as time goes on right we're going to get this up to field 17 and 18 and uh, and then we're going to get cutting up at field 17 now i'm just looking for where my entrance is i'm guessing it's opposite our farmyard they're not massive fields these two Ah, oh, there we go in fact that is exactly where they are easiest field for us to get into here is going to be field 18 will pop out and get that open there we are and we'll unfold the front one we'll unfold our mower there we go turn it on pop it down looking pretty good I'm quite happy with that right now we need to unfold our rear one so switch over to that, unfold that, come round and what we can do is get back up at this point and make sure that everything is in line. Right, turn that on, Oops. turn that on, drop it down and away we go. Oh, no, that is not on. Why didn't that turn on? There we are. And away we go. There we go. So, uh, this should now make sure to work with this, uh, with this setup. I'm quite liking this. This is a full butterfly setup. It feels more authentic uh, to the kind of setup we have around here. And as a result, we're, uh, we're sort of moving around. It's going to be interesting running this two yards and sort of having the, the more agricultural, uh, or sorry, the more arable side of things down the other end. Interesting, we've got another entrance to this field down here, uh, which is pretty good. So, uh, yeah, you can get into field 22 down this way as well. But this is looking pretty fine. This is a very nice looking setup on this uh, class. 
I'm quite pleased to have found this. It worked well. So the plan is today very much to get this cut uh, to give ourselves uh, a whole photograph. We're going to do. We're probably going to do silage off one of these and hay off the other. Not quite decided which which yet. Uh, 17, I think, is quite a bit smaller. So uh, if we do silage off here and hay off the other, silage is worth it. Uh, we're going to get ourselves a small uh, bale stacking trailer, I think. Just save ourselves a little bit of time for our magic stacking. That will work a bit better. Uh, we do have the uh, the small uh, coup one that, that was added as a uh, as a mod in. There we go. Been very cool. Really like it for this setup. It should reduce a whole lot. Interesting, actually, that, you do, uh, that it doesn't miss that little bit. You might have to lift up and go round. But yeah, I want to get these two cut, so uh, I'm going to go around, I'm going to get this cut, and, uh, and then I think we'll go and see, uh, we'll get field 17 cut as well, of course. Here. And once we've got these two fields done, we'll go and get ourselves a tether next, and get these tethered up. And um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to have a whole load of bailing, and do a whole whack of bailing at once to get all of our straw and our grass and, uh, and our hay tethered and that, uh, sorry, a road up and bailed and that will, that will come together quite nicely at once. And now that will cut in at this point. Make it easy for ourselves. We can do with this, like so. Yeah. And then we can keep our uh, our straight edge along the edge here. This is this is making sure work. I'm, it's it's one of those things. The reason why I wanted this setup was to make a quicker job of whatever it was we did. You can see we've got the uh, dirt mod in here as well. It worked well for us. It seems to cut this this front one. It seems to cut quite low, but when it's quite high still, like drop that down, drop that down, there we go, work it out which is work, it's working well, it's working, I'm really pleased with this, there's always a, a little bit of a worry when I download something outside of the water, is to how well it's going to work as a piece of kit. I have to safely and happily say that it's working really, really well and really nicely. My fears were unfounded at this set. Even if, as I said, it does cut while still lifted without problem. But that could be to do with how high the axial uh, front linkage is, so, as opposed to the actual uh, cutter itself. I think what I'm going to do today, actually, let's get this field done today. Yeah, that does not lift that very high the ground. Down, down. We'll go and get a tether after this, and uh, get this tethered up, and then we'll be in a position where, uh, where we can get this tethered, and we can get field 17 cut as well. But that would be really good. That would be absolutely brilliant start to this. Go. Yeah, much easier to line up on this front one than it is in the back. Last 
Go. It shouldn't make, take much to tent this field, uh, we should be able to get a fairly good tenner. I have been looking for ones uh, other than sort of standard ones. There's not a lot of choice out there, unfortunately. Um, so it's, uh, yeah, it's really a case of uh, going with standard stuff. Yeah. yeah, this has made really short work of this. In field 7 we will be able to cut a lot of it. We may even be able to get the course made to do field 7 and go and get our... our uh, go and get our case to go and get us a tether to do this field with. Which is always my preferred way to do it, is to sort of get the initial bits done ourselves uh, and then if we get course plates to do a little bit more and finish some more off and we'll do that we'll leave a little row there and we'll soon get that cleaned up yeah this is this has worked really well and i'm really pleased that i found this setup as i said before get it to do two headlands on field 17, which will probably actually do most of the field, to be honest. Fold that up as well. The good thing about this is we should now be able to go just go straight across. So this rather long setup is going to be fun getting in and out of these two fields. This field is, field seven is a really weird shape. Just massively weird shape. Right. So we will cut into the field. Unfold it. Turn it on, drop it down. Cut our way into the field. And then we'll just reverse up and uh, switch over to the other one, unfold it. While that's unfolding, we'll go close the gate so that we can actually get around. This field should not take us very long either. There we go. Help to turn the mower on. There. Yeah, this the field seven is uh, seventeen. Sorry, is not very big. May work out, but this this actually works better going this way around the field. Uh, we miss less of the swing than the, uh, the, uh, the mower round. So uh, yeah, that's what we want to do. We want to be going. The, Clockwise, uh, sorry, anti-clockwise around here with our first cut, not clockwise. Uh, that will mean that we actually get cut more in the long run. Right, I wonder if we can fill up for this pond. Now there's a good question. It's quite a difficult one to get to, uh, but it may be one that we can fill up for. We own the land in between these two fields as well, so we actually own the roadway between that might be quite useful for us as well. First up. There we go again. This will not take long to get this all done. Still missed a bit in the corner. Should probably be lifting up in the corner anyway. Let's go round like this the whole way, <laughs> just just to finish this field off because it is uh, once we've actually done two uh, two headlands, it is going to be a little bit. Uh, 
here. There's still going to be a lot of grass left, to be honest. It's a really small field. So we may have to do all of this as hay, and then once it's all grown, maybe do all of it as... Uh, Have some silage plants. It's whether it's whether to do rat bales or whether to try and do uh, to do actual silage. But what do you guys think? Let us know in the comments for that. Actually, would you rather rat bales or would you rather uh, you know silage bales? Or would you rather we try to do the silage clamp? Uh, maybe uh, put some corn in the field and do that. Uh, I I think we might be better off money wise coming. Silage bale side of things. Uh, I think we're going to be much better equipped to be able to do that. But, uh, yeah, I want to know what you guys want to see on this uh, in this series. Uh, we will certainly ted all this up, and, uh, and that will give us a good base of food for our cows to start off with. Uh, and then I won't have to worry about it so much. Not lifting at the moment because uh, I'm trying to catch the little this in the middle. Square that off there. Come around. There we go. Absolutely perfect. We'll have this field finished momentarily. And once we've done that, we'll go and get a tether. We'll tether this up. Uh, we'll get a nice wide one that will be ready. Not take us very long. And, uh, and yeah, we will then have this. the right things. With the cycle being on the tractors, I, I really do the button on my. Uh, I might actually do that. There is a. I, need, I do have an unassigned button on my side panel and I might set it so that it's front and rear tools um, because I currently don't have that so I'm having to tap but I do have an unassigned button that would do uh, that I could assign to both so uh, I will try and get that set up uh, before I go any further or before next time uh, and that will just make things easier when I'm, uh, when I'm doing jobs like this I use control V is the word for it in the game. Uh, but there we go, so that is that field club. We're going to drop these off at the dairy yard, uh, pop down to the shop, and we'll go and buy ourselves a... Uh, go buy ourselves a tether, so I will see you down there in a minute. Approaching the shop now, and just going to pull in. Ourselves a tether. Might as well pull right up to the shop icon. And uh, tethers are in here. So I think our best bet is to go right down the middle, get the Kuhn GF uh, 8712. Uh, it's an 8.7 meter. The Pottinger is going to be too massive for us to deal with. And the Fanex is, the Vicon Fanex is a little small at only 6 meters. So uh, we'll get the details on that. Uh, it's still at 131,000, which is great. So let's buy that. Excellent. We're in the Maxim, of course, now as well. Uh, which matches the colour scheme of this quite nicely. So we're going to get our Maxim, uh, Maxim 125. We're going to take this back up to field 17 and 18. Uh, get those tethered. And hopefully uh, we'll be able to row them up next time. And, uh, and get some bales off there and off our straw fields. And that will then give us a basis in order to get our cows. So we're looking at getting our cows at the moment, episode four of this series, uh, which will be good. We'll be nicely set up with enough stuff by that point to get them. Uh, and so, yeah, we will have, uh, we should have plenty of money to do that. We're looking at having about 100,000. Uh, and that means we should get about 20-ish 20 cow, 20 cows. I think we might be able to get more than that. Uh, but we'll go from there. Uh, so I'll see you up at the field and we'll get this job uh, finished off. 
into field 18 we go and as soon as we're in gonna unfold our tether like so yeah nice and wide this one so no issues should get this done i should go at a good speed with this as well and we can't get we can't get away actually just feeding we want to be feeding the cows uh, grass as well uh, so yeah we're going to be cutting these fields a few times i think but if we can uh, if we can raise a bit of money uh, fairly early on and get more fields uh, what we'll be able to do is, is just keep building and building the farm as quickly as possible uh, you always in a, when you start to that to pay. You always burn through a whole load of money and then spend a while trying to get, uh, trying to get to the point where you're making lots of money again. Uh, so the idea here, very much, is straight from the get-go to be trying to make as much money as we can, and that's part of the reason of buying a field that was already ready to harvest. Uh, it's one of those things that we're going to keep an eye on going through. Uh, we'll probably do some contracts with the eye of uh, then buying the field that we need contracts on. So we'll see how that goes. Uh, but you can always already see this is uh, this is blazing through this job. And, uh, going at a good speed. So we should be able to clear this away. And we might do, try and do two headlands on this before we, uh, before we start going up and down the field. Do we have enough space to turn yet? No, not really. And we did two headlands when we were cutting this originally as well, so that just makes sense really. It is, it's, uh... I think we have a good range of tractors for the size of this map. This map is not a huge map. Uh, and as a result, we don't want to we don't want to be using massive, massive tractors and massive equipment. Because we just can't get it around the roads. I mean, that's the thing about the butterfly mower. I'm quite happy to not have the, bu the butterfly mowers have a side and a front mower because it still allows us to do the job pretty quickly, but at the same time, we are also then able uh, to actually get it around the map. And even even then, it's a little bit iffy with the size of that uh, size of the side mower and the fact that it sticks out the back. I had to be really careful getting it into the yard a minute ago. So, uh, yeah, it's it's a tough map to get anything more than a, a medium-sized medium equipment map. And we, I think we're going to be finding that more and more as we develop on the map. But I am hoping that we're going to have a good, regular source of income, getting the cows early, and, uh, and as a result, be able to expand the farm quickly. It's all about, what, what I really want to do this series is expand as quickly as I possibly uh, possibly can and there are plenty of fields on this map uh, it being a, a, a fairly small field map plenty of fields on here where we can go and earn uh, where we can go and uh, and get ourselves some extra on it wait that did not take that small patch right there we go so we will row this up next time uh, along with field 17 and uh, and possibly do some wing rowing on the uh, the stuff in field uh, field two is it I think uh, yeah in field two we might row that up as well uh, simply because it is a little bit messy with what Causeplay did and that will then put us in a good place uh, for sorting that out getting that bailed up so rowing and bailing is uh, is really what we'll do next and then as i said with episode four on here uh we're looking to get the cows in the school get them up and running as well and, uh, and yeah that should then be uh, a really good start on here and a really good thing i think this would be a great start from scratch map as well you know i think there's enough uh small fields and things uh that you could establish a nice farm here but not a huge amount of money you can start with some really small equipment uh, small equipment on here is not an issue it's actually uh, probably more of a help than a hindrance and uh, and yeah you would you would do well on this map on the start of the scratch setup 
definitely don't want to be going with any larger equipment than, than I've got here. Even, even the combine I'm feeling is a little bit big for this map. So there we go. Just a tiny row in there. As soon as we're heading back out the field. That's a nice blanket of uh, the hay we've got on here now. And up. Right. Uh, we had to fold this to get out of the field. Like so. And let's then unfold again into here. And while that's unfolding, go close the gate. Her up, start her up, and down. Absolutely brilliant. Really, really pleased. I feel like I've made a huge amount of progress very quickly on here. I want to get, uh, I think I want to try and get some chickens uh, locally. At the moment, there is there are chickens, but they are down at uh, there. That's the animal dealer down there. Where are the chickens? Are the chickens with the pigs? Chickens, I oh, know there, there they are. The chickens are down by field uh, 74, uh, 74 and 71. I, uh, I want to try, I think I'm going to put chickens in close to me here. Uh, I have something up at this farm and use a place called for that. Uh, it's great that they are installed on the map and that there is somewhere where you can do them. Um, but yeah, I want to, I want to go and get, uh, I want to keep them close to me here. Uh, and that way we can make money from them as well especially if we've got wheat or barley which of course is what our first crop was uh, we then Im immediately have the tools uh, to be able to keep chickens and between twi chickens and cows chickens especially chickens are great for a really low cost regular money earner uh, so if we can keep those going uh, then that will uh, that will work to our advantage as well. That will work, uh, yeah, massively to our advantage as far as us uh, making as much money as we, quickly as we can. Just uh, just sort of yeah, growing the farm as fast as is possible. Right, let's lift this. Uh, we've got about two. Maybe three yeah, rows to go. Miss any on then? But we actually didn't miss any on the end of that. And this is actually really good. I think this is about the width of our mowers looking at uh, sort of the strips that we're covering with this. You can see uh, the width of our mower cut there and the fact that this pretty much covers it, uh, which is absolutely brilliant. Two more runs to go, just to get that little bit in the corner. But it's, uh, yeah, we've got a very nice amount of hay here to start us off with. Uh, and yeah, we'll, we'll, uh, let us know, as I said earlier, let us know in the comments, how would you like us to do silage on here? Would you like uh, grass silage, uh, which may take us a while uh, if we if we put it in the silage clamp, um, we could do uh, so. Yeah, we could do grass silage with the silage clamp. We could do uh, grass silage with silage bales, or we could do full-on silage uh, with corn. And maybe try and get a corn field or two going for that. I don't want to take too long to get the silage going. There we go. Uh, because we need it but uh, that is where we are going to end this video so let me come round to my tractor and uh, yeah that's where we're going to end so all that remains is for me to say a thank you for watching i hope you've enjoyed this video please give it a like drop us a comment and give it a share and for the latest videos and live streams from virtual farmer please subscribe to the channel and i will see you next time goodbye